Paula. Yes. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Gorgeous love? as always. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> Thank you. So are you. Thank you. I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> keep up. So anyway, the film was awesome, and you were funny as always. Aww. Terrence Shea, he had his three rules in the film, and you know, and the women had their deal breakers. Mm. For you, what are your three roles in relationships and what's an absolute deal breaker for you? Okay, I don't know about absolute deal breaker, but yes. I have a, I've just discovered it, that pouting. Oh. I, it just, it's a sign. Yeah. The pouting, it's just a, it, no. It's just a damn um, um, uh, Coldness. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah. I just, just the shutdown. Um, ooh, and, um, hmm. You know what? I think the most important thing that a man can do, yeah. and so if you don't do it, is to say, I want to do something for you because it makes you happy, even if I don't like to do it. Oh. And it brings me joy yes. to do something that makes you happy. Yes. Therefore, I want to do it, which makes me then want to do the same thing for you. So that's an act of selflessness. I think so. Yes. I think sometimes people go, because I don't want to. And you're like, <laughs> Wait, but, Why can't you just do it because it's going to yeah, be happy? Because I do things I don't want to do, too. Right. But I do it because it puts a smile on your face. Right, right. So, I don't know. Well, you know, I mean, society has changed. It's, it's different now. Now we kind of live in a hookup culture, like a non-committal society. I know it's sad, but that's just the case. That just means like a loveless society. Yeah, I know. Do you know what I think? What? Listen, everybody finds another person attractive, right? Yeah. But the ultimate sacrifice you make is to stay with one person, right? Yes. Because you love them so much and you know it would hurt them if you went with somebody else. Right. And vice versa. It doesn't mean it's not human to like other people. Right. But the ultimate sacrifice is to say, I want to be with you and I because it's going to hurt your feelings if we do the other. And that's love and that's why people get married. That's and love and that's being considerate. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and it doesn't always happen. Like, know. and that makes us become like really strongly independent, where we kind of don't even want a man to be there. Like, <laughs> you're just, how did I'm sorry, I'm panic attack. I'm sorry, <laughs> newly single, and I'm just like, woof. I know this is real, and yeah. I know it. Okay, yes. but I am going to make a play or a, just a pledge. Okay, and I want others to make it. Love, it's such a beautiful, beautiful thing. It is. And being in control is the opposite of being in love, and living mm -hmm. life. Is about like sort of just not ha just not knowing what's gonna come next, yeah. which means then you can fall in love, and we all know that when you really fall in love, it's the yes. best feeling in the whole world. It is, it is, and it's worth the risk that you might get hurt. Yeah. It's okay. It's worth it though. Yeah, it's worth it. Okay, we're gonna switch gears a little. Oh, you just picked me up. <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it up. <laughs> I don't want to get sad. But um, Zoe Saldana, she's in yes. the news this week, and she's been getting a lot of backlash because she's portraying the iconic uh, Nina Simone. And you know, while there's other actresses who support her, Nina Simone's estate doesn't. If you were put in the same position and you know, you were offered a role that others didn't approve of, but you really felt, you know, strongly about it, how I think would you, you gotta go it? with your heart. Yeah. I mean, I think that it's unfortunate. I don't, I don't really believe in that kind of bullying and like yes. taking people down. You know, there's all kinds of expression of art, and it's unfortunate the way it's all, yeah. so what's happened and such. Yeah. But I think she's quite bold and brave to do it, and she should be applauded for it. And it's a hard thing to go against the grain. Yes. And um, somebody thought she was right. Right. So. You know, I don't know, I just think that we have to live in a culture where we put people down less and put people up more mm -hmm. and focus on positivity instead of that negativity. It's not healthy for any of us. It's not. I totally concur. And with your positive energy, I think we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, Thank Paula. you so much.